No signal? No. Well, guys, welcome to the tunnel. Damn, I didn't think it would be so difficult. Well, we have to be careful because we may have been noticed. Nobody saw us, we entered quietly, so congratulations guys, we are in the tunnel. I still don't understand what's going on. We walked through some doors, opened them with some kind of keys, and hid in the carriage, then moved from one carriage to another. People were looking at us strangely. They didn't understand what we were doing. We somehow came here and haven't been caught yet. We're on the other side of the tunnel where we wanted. We'll now have to go through one of the longest tunnels in Kyiv. Shall we go after the train? Yes, now the train will pass and will go. I just don't remember where our first stop will be and how long it'll take. Are there still trains running there? Yes, of course the train's running now. Whoa! So you run, run, and to the left of the contact rail, on the opposite side there is a special bridge, that is, a platform on which people walk. Even if there is a train going, you will stand there and it won't touch you. There is a distance of almost one and a half meters. So we can go to this platform at any time? We'll be walking in the platform only. Okay, thought we will be walking on the rails. No, we can't walk on the rails. There is a special platform for people. If suddenly the train goes, then you just lie down like this. And it passes over you? No, from the side. I thought it will pass from above and you will be lying and trembling. If you lie down, the driver most likely will notice you. Well, we need to get out of here as soon as possible because some workers are already beginning to prepare for the night shift. We'll go after the next train? Yes. The train is on its way. It will go in that direction? Guys, Bono will go first and I'll go last. The main thing is not to move when the train is running because they might notice us. Let's go, let's go, quickly. Less light and don't use flashlights. That's it. You can light it normally now. I'm already tired. Is it still far? Nobody knows, we haven't been there yet. It's exhausting. Firstly, we are running with bags. Then secondly, here we are walking on the cross ties. There are also many different pits. We need to get to the first turn. We still have about four minutes. In extreme cases, if the train is coming, then just lie down on the left, as close to the wall as possible. We're running through the subway tunnel, this is insane, now the train will come and we'll run like idiots. Shit, will the train come from there? Yes. There is still no light. Can I shine it here? There is internet equipment here, probably 4G. It's close already, 100 meters. <coughs> Sus, what's up? Well, how dirty you are? All good? I'm used to it. That's it, we're hiding now. There is some kind of sewer running. Is the train on the way? Shall we get there? Quickly, come here. Yes, over here. I see Dima faster. I thought there were motion sensors. Everyone has already come. So, how do you feel? This is insane. Well, the train is coming. So turn off the light. Guys, turn off the light. Alex, where are you? Damn, now the train will pass so close to us. When the train is running, the main thing is not to move or light the torch. What's that signal? That's for the train. Oh, yeah. The train is on its way. The sound will be terrible. The main thing is not to move. It was so loud, but feels great. I liked it. Come on out, let's take a walk here. I'm coming. Well, do you know what it is? Yes, you tore off your pants already. Really? 
It can be. Well, what can't you do for the sake of our favorite work? Are these third rails? It powers the subway, 825 volts. Is it closed? It's closed such that if you touch it, it will just fall apart. It's all rotten. I sat behind that, there are almost 1000 volts, and I was sitting there. In the bare wires are lying there, when the train passes, its wheels rolls there. It's removable, I just don't remember what it's called. So what interests us, explosives? What do you mean by explosives? It's a little bunker where we are going. What does this stand for? Air outlet. How dirty it's here, I just noticed. This is a subway after all. These are stalactites mixed with metal dust. Train rub against the rails and all its covered with fine metal dust. I feel like at home here, I know everything. I know where is which box, where is which door, where to bend down, where to drink water. If any workers are watching us, please don't be offended. There is no need to be angry. We do not break anything, we don't spoil anything, we take all the trash with us. We just relax here and have fun. This tunnel has such an echo, such a sound. Guys, we have already got into the tunnel, but we have a specific goal. I will make a small bunker for me and my friends, so that we can come here during any sort of crisis or extreme situations and night out here. Alex took some technical gadgets with him and will show you how a dead place can be revived and made livable. Well, in two minutes there will be the next train, we'll let it pass and then in eight minutes we'll have to reach the next shelter. The next shelter will be at a distance of minimum 600 to 800 meters. So get ready. Try not to step into the puddles because in an hour the night and the ants will walk and we need to make sure that they don't notice our footprints. Everyone hard, the train is coming after it passes, we'll immediately run. Don't move now. Stop, stop, don't shine. Okay, now come out. You'll be coming behind us? Yes. Faster, come on, move quickly. There is always the possibility that the train will not go according to the plan. Hurry up. Guys, faster! More fast! Bono, is everything fine there? Nobody is there? Bono, look over there! You that is mine 15? Well, what the light had? That's Shanta. Nobody is there? No. Guys, we need to step back. Come on, quickly, the train is coming. Damn! How do we get in here? Don't leave wet marks. We need to go here. Dima, are you tired? I'm okay, just the backpack is heavy. Don't shine into the tunnel. Is it coming? Yes. Nuclear explosion. Thank God we didn't have to lie down on the ground like this. I'm very afraid of this because the train may hook on and tear off my head. That's why I ran hard to make it on time. See how the contact rails are installed. There are some kind of insulators, everything is steel. Cooper is not used. The casing are very weak, they can really shock you. Everything looks very dangerous here. What is this thing? This is the mechanical tightening of bolts into railway ties with electromotor. Is it for renovation work? Do the ties change here? Of course, it's screwed into the ties. The train is on its way again, turn off the light. Some water got poured from.
Ой, Балов. Откуда да? Жесть, такой вообще грохот. We step over and on touch because there is electricity. Two slugs taking risk and go where you shouldn't go. What's there? Wow, what's this? This is one of the oldest phones from the 60s. It serves for the internal communication between the person who closes the sealed door and the one who is located here. This is the most primitive connection. Here is a modern one, it's more compact. Well, another phone. Yeah, it's more compact. What is this, Siren? Can you call the station from here? No. But in general, from this tunnel you can call the station? As far as I know, there are special telephones from which you can call, but they somehow work hard and are not everywhere. Guys, in half an hour the trains will stop. Running the electricity will be cut off, or rather the contact rail will be turned off. At night, as you know, when the trains don't run, there are many workers. From different services. In 10 minutes we'll go into the bunker and there we'll sit for several hours while the workers pass off. It's there where we carry out our experiments. Yes, exactly. What's that voice? Where it's coming from? From you. I didn't get it. Did they call the police? What's this? Can you imagine the phone was recording our conversation? Look, read it. The contact will be disconnected and the night shift workers are likely to go. Whoa, how could this be? I didn't press anything. Is this some kind of setting in your phone? There are no settings. It turned on itself in the phone. You're a spy in the tunnel. Look, guy some kind of wood chips, a good copper cable, and resin, but without a motor, just a card. Look at this thing here, there is a knife. Seems like dangerous people work here. I hope these workers won't show up here now. Well, what are going to do if they come up here now? When they will come, we'll definitely see them. First the light in the tunnel will turn on. Is it necessary? Yeah, it is. So they turn on the light when they release voltage and it's a sign that the voltage has been released. Yes. There are some kind of murders and different equipment everywhere. I don't understand what kind of murder it is. 90 volts. What it's for? There was some kind of shoulder door. Oh, this is a hermetic door. But when the lights turn on, should there be a pin drop silence? Yes, we can't make any noise there. In general, mobile communication is all 4G here. This is the intent of one of the mobile operator live. There is no signal for Vodafone. LTE 1800. Well, the train is going. Turn off the light. There is 4G connection as it's written on the box 1800 megahertz. They turned off the electricity and the train stopped running. We need to walk another 300 meters to our station, to our shelter, in order to hide there. Now we'll quickly get there and there we'll have some fun. Still any train can pass now? No, we'll hear it from afar if it comes, so let's go. Stop. Keep walking. Oh, bunker is locked. Can you imagine? Bono has the key. Wow. Where did you get the key? I walk for the security service. Okay, let's go. There must be some kind of special secret object since they put an additional lock. See you, station, in the morning. So goodbye, station, for now. There is no alarm here, right? Yes. This is amazing, we are opening the lock from the other side of the gate. 
pretty cool. Cool so that no one gas anything. Here is the entrance to our bunker. This bunker is with a lock no one will get in. What kind of pipes are those? They look like horns. What do they do with them? These are air ducts. A special section is located here, which closes upon a blast wave. So in case of the nuclear war, they wanted to hide people in the tunnel where the rails are? Well, yes. Well, in general, everything was done in the Soviet time and against a clear war. These pipes look so terrible. These are staircases that lead up. There are big bunkers here. What a huge door! Shall we close it, Bono? No, we'll now just sit down, we have a table here and everything we need. But are we going to close the door? No, there is no point in closing. It won't be heard from above? No, it won't. So what do we see here? Protective hermetic doors with rubbers. The turbine is huge, which sucks air into the tunnel. Are we going to run it on today? I don't know how loud it will be, and it doesn't turn on with just one button. There's a whole mechanism. Anyways, let's go. That's a lot of dust. It's all metal dust. The train run rub against the rails, and this is how metal dust is formed. Bono even tested it, it magnetizes. Check out the pipes here. They really try their best in the USSR. The most interesting thing is that everything is working. Here's another one. We got to the second security door. Everything is like in a real bomb shelter. There's a drainage so that water doesn't accumulate here. How it works? Oh, there is a valve. Yeah. Some constructions are really strange here. By the way, all the doors are numbered here, but I don't understand. Is this number in Kyiv or through the CIS? Only in Kyiv. So in Kyiv at least 474 such cell doors are there? Yes. Wow, your camera is so interesting. Yes, with black and white film. With black and white film? Yes, let's take some picture in the tunnel. It rotates quite easily, looks some kind of liquid leaked out of the air. What is it? Wow, look at my hands. There was a handle here, all covered in dust. Look, there are some kind of power boxes over the year, 380 volts, probably this is to open the air tight door or turn on the ventilation. There are colored bulbs. So shall we go to the second floor? Yes, let's go upstairs. Now we'll conduct some experiments. Everything is covered in dust. What's the smell? Close the door. Dima, get in. Close the door now. It's like in a house. The door is closed and now the rock and roll begins. There is a small bunker, there is a table here, there used to be a contact point here. Previously there was a signal man who controlled the entire civil defense throughout the subway. At that time he performed important functions. Cool. Wow, this is amazing. Some of the power boxes are guarded with additional glass, probably that ones which are especially dangerous so that nothing is pressed. Why are the chairs and package? Are they new? Someone sat here, probably. Interesting phones, how to dial a number here. These are one-way telephones. They either only take the call or ring only one way. K is for Kryosan. I don't understand at all how to call from this phone. This is somehow very complicated. Gateway 2, chamber 2, on, off. This thing needs to be twisted, so it charges. So on this thing you talk, and from this one you listen, right? Do you think it's working? This one? Yes. It's all de-energized. I don't know how to enable it. I once tried, but it didn't work. I think there is some kind of switch somewhere. Can I take this thing off? Yeah, try to take it off. Nothing will happen. This is a local connection. For some reason I can't. Maybe you need to press something there. Look how dirty my hands got for meth. This was done in the USSR. You can't pick up the phone. Can you imagine? Okay, let me try at least to take off the receiver. Whoa, even these can be taken off. Oh, wait, so that's how it should be. 
Look at this receiver hole. Do you have any idea what kind of phone it is and what it's intended for? Bono, is this some kind of super network switch that can call to many different directions? This is a phone from the 50s or 60s just for local communication, only between the complex of objects. But why it's so big? It's autonomous, there is a special device, if there is no electricity, there is a dynamo that charges the phone and it works. Can you twist it? I will try to charge it now. Can we turn it on another way? It might be calling somewhere when you're twisting it. Where is it calling? Damn! I'm serious, come here. Damn, it was a call, I just called someone. We call the same phone near the hermetic door, see it's on. Hope no one will catch us. But wait a minute, I'll go to the other phone and film how it rings there. Okay. You need to get out into the tunnel? Over there, right? It rings right there, near the hermetic door. It's hidden here. Let's open it now. Is the phone in this box? Yes. Does the person locked up in the bunker call the phone outside in this way? He called several points. There are four hermetic doors and around them there are telephones. All of them ring simultaneously. The light is on. Great, the worker should pass off soon. Now let's take a quick look and hide in our bunker. By the way, it's interesting that everywhere the light turns on. You mean here? Yes. This one, we turned it on. Hope they don't hear us. Guys, look, we went into the tunnel, the lights have already been turned on. This means that in 10 minutes the workers will go through the tunnel, they'll do their duty inspection and leave. While we'll sit in the bunker for now, and closer to morning we'll go into the tunnel. There is a station for a hat to which we'll leave in the morning. Well guys, who's brought me some kind of nuclear bunker, now we'll first take a bite and then start our experiments. Table, Alex, take and eat it. Cool, well, our hands are all dotted with the still dust. Still nothing, if you spend an entire day on the subway, it'll be all dark and black from head to toe. So we're having a modest dinner, we need to eat because we got a little nervous in our way here. What you see from your window when you ride the subway is only 10% of what exists in the subway. There are a lot of different and mysterious things here. Moreover, this subway is from the USSR time and it was designed, first of all, as a bomb shelter. And it was made not just for the people, but for the government as well, so that they can all hide here in case of nuclear war. We now want to catch those very straight currents in order to get electricity out of them. Show me what we have got here. In order to fix the stray magnetic field, I took with me such a magnetic contactor. This is essentially a transformer. The magnet is tangled. In general, it was once a transformer in a tube TV. We'll close the magnetic field to this part of the transformer and then to the second part of the transformer, in which I have already wound a coil and electricity will be inducted here. So in this way we can take electricity, roughly speaking, from the air and use it for our own purposes, like people who want to survive in the subway during an apocalypse. Yes, two magnets are closed, a magnetic field is created around, inductive currents are collected in a wire and enter our socket. The first thing to do is to find out if the electricity in these wires that is suitable for our purposes or not. To do this, I take an ordinary non-uniform magnet and, well, the glasses can already be removed, and we bring this magnet to the wires. If it starts to vibrate, it means that there is a same magnetic film around the wire that is lost. So, let's check it out. Try this thicker one. Should it vibrate? Yes, but it doesn't vibrate, it just magnetizes as there is iron inside. This one is also magnetized. Maybe these are some kind of communication wires. Let's check everything.
Well, there is no electricity here. Is everything de-energized? Maybe this is due to the fact that there is direct current in the subway? There are two options here. Either there is a direct current or these are no electricity at all. And if there is, then is a very weak load. If there is a weak load, such as a signal cable, then such a cable won't work for us because there will be a small lost current from it. And it won't be cut for us to charge anything. So how did it happen that you got so much dirty while Alex is clean? This is rejuvenation. 10 hours of rejuvenation gives you 10 minutes of life. Alex, do you know what this equipment is for? I'm trying to figure out what it is for. Maybe it's for adding light bulbs. Are they all turned on? Yes, all are on. Maybe in another place the switch is turned off. Well, is this room suitable for us for experiments? Now we'll check it, but it seems to me that not really. What is flowing here? Is this normal? This is groundwater. We are at a depth of more than 100 meters. Above us there is a huge layer of ground. This is how it comes out. There are such strange things here, stalactites. These walls are empty. This opens the sealed doors, right? Yes. You see, it rotates. Now it's simply de-energized. I'll try to turn it on. That's the secret socket which you told us about. Show me the connector there. Threefold one. Well, you mean you can't put an ordinary one in the air, or if it's possible somehow? I was told that a special plug is needed, and the usual one can't be inserted there. 10 amps, 150 volts, the socket is strange. This is especially for the subway. Well, the main thing is that it's there. 220 volt socket? Yes. Opa! Oi! What it is, probably without voltage, make sure you don't get an electric shock. It's 15 past 3, they should have finished their night work, and now we should move towards the station. So guys, so as not to leave any traces, we collected all the trash, even the sausage skins. We collected everything and now we'll throw them in the trash can. This is how we show respect to the subway, we don't behave like brutes or just crazy people. Also because we want to come back here. Let's go there, along the tunnel. Damn, with the lights are on, you get a completely different impression. Lights are on everywhere. Bono, let's probably go around the corner and Ed will be safer here. Yes, there is a perfect place. It can be seen from the station. Guys, while we usually sleep, the subway opens its eyes and wakes up. Now we are walking here and in the morning the subway will go to sleep again. How do you like the night walk? Now we'll go a little out of the way so that the station is not in the line of sight and we'll begin our experiments. It's a pleasure to walk here at night, you don't even need a flashlight, it's really cool. Alex, how do you like the night tunnel? Amazing, it's so big, when the light was turned on it became clear how powerful and huge it is. It's a huge community system of different services. The wind is blowing. Isn't a train coming? It's from mine. You see the bends of the tunnel? The draft is because of them. In general, this little magnet is our indicator. Yes, a few people know that the magnet can determine if there is energy in a wire. If it's magnetized, then there is no energy. The magnet shouldn't be magnetized, but vibrate. Unfortunately, there is nothing. Try the topmost one. nothing. Unfortunately, guys, there's nothing. Most likely there is direct current in the subway. Maybe this is the reason why we can't take additional electricity. Or maybe there is simply no energy there. But how? There is current, the lights are on. In any case, the current we need is coming from the power plant. Yes, but at a traction substation, it turns into direct current. 
From 10,000 volts, it's converted to constant 825 volts. Where are these traction substations located? Upstairs on the street. This means that we'll need a cable there. Or need an answer to where all the cables go. Well, guys, it's 3.40 a.m. now, and it's the right time to walk through the tunnels. We'll show you one very beautiful tunnel in shape. All the workers on duty have already made a round and are sleeping now. The main thing is not to come across some kind of duty officer. As I understand, the most dangerous place is near the station. Yes. So there, we need to talk in a whisper. Yes, we can make noise there, because attendants usually sit there. Are there anyone at the station? Yes, there's always one person on duty at the station. Even now at night, is he in the office? Yes, he has a cabin in which he sleeps at such a time. If we don't wake him up, then everything will be great. Usually if the door is open, then they can hear everything well. Doesn't this circumstance bother you? Okay, let's see how it goes. There are a very few but dangerous places where the train can just crush you. It's quite narrow there. It's near those iron metal structures, so-called sealed doors. There's a sign hangs that says 30 minutes, dangerous to walk. The section must be passed quickly because if the train passes, it will crush you. We walked and walked and came to the place where there are two tunnels. Look, one is connected to another, and further there is a station where the light is on. Wait, wait, stop here. Someone is at the station. They might hear us. Workers are talking on the service platform. Probably they didn't hear us. They are talking to each other. On which one? On that. Oh no, don't move. Someone is shining a flashlight here. Quiet, everyone. Guys, there were two workers at the station, they passed very close, but they didn't see or hear us. They were talking to each other and they didn't even pay attention to us. Two workers with flashlight came to the station, then they left somewhere. They examined the arrows, but I don't understand why so late. Now it seems like there is no one. Yes, we can go now. Guys, we were about to screw up. Just now we were almost caught by workers. We heard some voices and didn't know what to do. We decided to hide behind the traffic light. There was a large box and a wall hide behind it and sat quietly for 15 minutes. They were checking the arrows and doing something else. It's already 20 past 4. Why are they walking around here so late, especially on Sunday? They shone a flashlight in our direction, but I didn't notice anything because we hide well. It was good that we were going silently or else we won't have heard them, and we have worked towards them. Let's wait for 30 minutes, in half an hour trains will start running, and then it will be much more safer. We can walk up to the station and see what to do next. Also the light will be turned off. After the first train goes in the tunnel, the lights are turned off. If the lights are turned off, then the workers will no longer be here. What would we do if they went in our direction? We would look according to the situation, but most likely we would run away through the station.
They wouldn't touch us, but they would call the security and we would just run away without listening to them. Yes, by the time the guards arrived, we would have already fled into the street. The subway workers won't catch us. The station is closed or open at this time. We have the keys anyways. Then it's cool. This is what this lifestyle leads to. To dirty hands and spoiled things. So the voltage has already been turned on. The light has been turned off. We're waiting for the first train. Use the flashlight now. The first train has already passed. The lights in the tunnel have been turned off. Now we'll go to the station. Shall we go that way? It saved the air. Yes, let's go. Well, guys, we came to the station. Now we'll try to get out of here somehow. There's the station. must have noticed you. I don't think so. Well, let's go in that direction. Nobody noticed anything. I'll go last, you all follow Bono. Let's first bypass the alarm signal, turn off the lights completely and keep walking. Tima, walk faster. Walk near the wall. Yeah, come to the left. Yes, walk on the left. Well, by passing the alarm signal, let's move faster. What happened? What are we doing? I think the driver saw us. If he saw, then why are we here? We gotta go upstairs. But then it will be hard to get down. It's very high. We can see that at the top of the beam here we have already been seen. Guys, get in here. Hold onto the cables and sit on the roof. Come on. You just lay down, lie on your stomach and don't move. Let the train pass off. Let's get out. To the back door. What back door? We need to go upstairs. Where are we going to leave now? Where are we going to go? Either here or up, but the guys don't want to go up. Why did you come down? What are you doing, man? Come on, climb back up. Everything is fine. Why are we going upstairs? Because it's a safer option. And how long to sit there? We don't have to sit here, we just have to go in the air now, don't argue, just do whatever they see. Alex, climb over me. Don't worry, step on my shoulder, it's okay. It's high up there, I won't climb. Then sit here and as soon as the train arrives, you immediately go to it. Now the most crucial moment is getting out of the tunnel. Is there any station attendant? No. Bono is there really no lock the air, does the door open, check it. Everything is fine. So as soon as the train arrives, we just go out there and get on the train. Dima, what do you see? Well, it's really scary. This was not what I expected in the end. It's a very crucial moment. <laughs> Guys, you gave us such a test at the end. The main thing now is not to move. As soon as it passes the cabin, we immediately open the door and leave. Everyone quiet. Over there.
Most importantly, with a sausage. We'll get off at the next station. Freedom! I can't believe we came out. So we did it. Thank you very much guys for enduring and passing this test. It was very difficult, dangerous, everything got mixed up and didn't work out the way we wanted. We didn't finish the experiment, they saw us and we ran away. Therefore friends, if you still want an experiment in a nuclear bunker, then write in the comments. If you want the continuation, we'll definitely do it. Guys, thank you all very much. Alex and Bono, a special thanks to both of you. Also thanks to the underground workers for sleeping at night. Wish you the best. Guys, how are your impressions? I thought it would be much easier, but it was very hard at the limit, especially the suspended litter. I thought I would be screwed up. The guys prepared us a hardcore level, but we passed it successfully. Thank you guys so much. It was really cool. Yeah.